Today we are going to see some examples related to the sets and here we go. So which of the following sets are bounded above, bounded below, unbounded or bounded? So we have to categorize the given examples on whether they are bounded, unbounded, bounded above or bounded below. So let us start. So first question is given S is a given set which have their elements like 2, 3 by 2, 4 by 3 and so on which is of the form n plus 1 upon n so we have to show that whether it is bounded or unbounded or whatsoever so if we will see the first element or the first value of this set so it is 2 and if we will see or if we will find the value of each term till infinity we will get the maximum value as 2 and also if we will find the minimum we will try to find out the minimum value then here we will find the n plus 1 upon n which will give 1 so this set is bounded between 1 and 2 so the second example is 1 upon n and n belongs to the natural numbers as we know that this set cannot exceed its element from 1 so the maximum value will be 1 and the minimum is of course 0 at infinity if it will tends to infinity then 1 upon infinity which is equals to 0. So this set is also bounded between 0 to 1 and here 1 is included in this set but 0 is not included. Now if we will see the third number it gives 3, 3 square, 3 cube and so on to the 3 to the power n if we will see the values increasing it's continuously increasing and as we know that 3 to the power n if will n tends to infinity then it will give some value which is not defined and we call it infinity so and we will see the smallest value then it is 3 and this set is bounded below by 3 and we cannot find it's ever bound it's that is why it is bounded below now the fourth is s is equals to the set is like minus 1 2 minus 3 4 and the nth term is given by minus 1 up to the power n by n and if we will see this set and uh, we'll try to find it say lower bound or upper bound we cannot figure it out because it is going towards the negative of infinity and it is going to the positive of infinity and uh, so we cannot tell it and it is thereby therefore why it is unbounded the next is if we will consider the set say minus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus upon 1 upon 3 and so on so here we can see that the least value is minus 1 it cannot go behind minus 1 and it can also cannot give the positive value that's why it is bounded by 0 also so this set is bounded if we will see 6 then 6 is a very important question that's why I have marked it the set is given by 1 plus minus 1 to the power n up on n and n belongs to the natural number so if we will try to find the least bound and the upper bound or from where the set is bounded so if we will put n which is equals to 1 then we will get it is as uh, 0 so and if we will put 2 it will give 3 by 2 and if we will move forward 3 4 or to the power infinity then it will will the all elements will lie in between of 0 and 3 by 2 so it is bounded by 0 and 3 by 2 similarly moving to forward and the seventh question is set consists of elements which have its element element, element as sine and pi upon 6 so here it is sine pi by 6 sine 2 by 6 sine and pi 6 as we know that sine is in between minus 1 to 1 so each elements of this set also lies between minus 1 to 1 minus 1 will be attended by some value and 1 will be attended by some value 1 gives sign when it is pi by 2 so when it will be 3 pi by 6 and uh, minus 1 when it is 3 pi by 2 that is uh, say 9 pi by 6 something like that so 7 will be also bounded between minus 1 to 1 so here is some different questions so here if we will find we have to find the supremum and the infimum of the given set this so 1 1 plus 1 by 2 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 square and it is so on so if we will try to find the minimum value as we can see the first value which is 1 is the minimum value and if we are moving forward it will increase and increase so the minimum value is 1 for the maximum value if we will consider the nth term 
uh, which is given by 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 square plus dot dot, dot plus 1 upon 2 to the power n minus 1 to infinity then we can apply here as we can see it is the gp series and infinite gp series which which gives it as the first term is 1 and the difference is 1 upon 2 or the common ratio is 1 upon 2 so 1 upon as we know that the formula is a upon 1 minus r so 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2 which gives 2 so the supremum value is 2 it cannot exceed from 2 and the infimum value is 1 so here so that the set s which is equals to 1 1 upon 2 1 upon 3 and so on to 1 upon n is not closed we have to show that this set is not closed so as we can as we know from the from definition of closed set that every derived set or we can say the derived set or all the limiting point must consist in the set itself so if the set is consisting limiting point then we can say that that set is closed so here if you find the derived set of s it is zero and which is not included in the set that's why it is not closed so i have written as we know that if limit point of a set does not belong to the set then the set is not closed that is what i have used in this so here we are solve nine questions if you like it